Hey what's up guys this is the base and in this video I'm going to show you how you can install the custom blue spark kernel in OnePlus 7 and 7 Pro and I'm also going to show you the benchmark result and I'm also going to show you if you want to come back to stock kernel how you can do that so I'm going to clear all your doubts and everything so watch this video till end so here you can see that the device I'm using is OnePlus 7 uh, which is running on Oxygen OS Open Beta 17 it doesn't matter which device you are using whether you are using OnePlus 7 Pro you can follow the same method so if you want to install this kernel, uh, your device should be in any custom ROM or the Oxygen OS Open Beta ROM or Oxygen OS Stable ROM. So if you are using one of this ROM, then this method is for you guys. For this video, I'm going to suppose you already have bootloader unlocked device and you have TWRP recovery installed. No need of matches. Magix is completely optional. It doesn't matter you have Magix installed or not. So you just need bootloader unlocked device and TWRP recovery. So if you don't know how to install TWRP recovery, I have already created video on that. So you can watch that video from the description of this video. Now before proceed, if you want, you can run the benchmark test on your device with the stock kernel. And if you don't want, you can just skip the benchmark test part. I'm going to show you the benchmark result at the end of this video. So watch this video till end. Now before proceed, if you haven't subscribed us, subscribe us and also hit the bell icon to get notification about all of future videos. And you can also check out my other OnePlus 7 videos. And if you love my content, you can subscribe our channel and it will motivate me to create videos like this. Now let's move on to video. Now first of all, you have to download this blue spark kernel file in your mobile. Now let me show you how you can download this file and which file you need to download exactly. So you can find this link from the description of video. And thanks to all the developer of Blue Spark kernel to create this custom kernel for OnePlus 7 and 7 Pro. So you can find this link from the description of the video. And if you are uh, using OnePlus 7 or the 7 Pro, then uh, you can download this custom kernel from the, this page. And whether you are using Oxygen OS or the custom OS, you can follow the same method and you can download the same file. So once you are in this page, you need to find the download link. Well, well if you want, you can read all this kernel features i'm gonna skip it uh well now before we proceed let me uh, read this warning for you guys so uh if you come from other kernel or have any issue you should dirty flash your rom before flashing blue spark chip to avoid any problem and if you are using uh, any custom kernel first of all you need to refresh your rom then flash the twrp recovery then you need to boot to twrp recovery now if you want you can flash the magic or you can also skip the magic. So once you're done with that, then you have to flash the blue spark kernel. Uh, you need to follow this method only if you're coming from some other kernels. Uh, for this video, I'm gonna suppose you are on your stock ROM and you are not using any kernel. So if you are already rooted or upgrading between the blue spark version, you just need to flash the kernel zip and also uninstall or clean data of any kernel control app you are using. So now let's download the kernel zip. So you need to click on this link. It will redirect you on this uh, GitHub page. Now from here, you have to download the latest kernel. So whatever the latest version available, download the your kernel file. So if you are using custom ROM, then download this one. And if you are using the Oxygen OS ROM, then download this one. So as I'm using Oxygen OS ROM, I have downloaded this uh, kernel file. So now you need to download this kernel file in your mobile internal storage. So you can also download this ROM file from your PC and move this file into your mobile or you can directly download this file in your mobile also. So here you can see that I have copied this uh, kernel file in my internal storage. So now just go to your mobile and reboot your mobile into TWRP recovery. So if you don't know how to directly reboot in device into TWRP recovery, you can just go to system, then go to developer option and you can enable the advanced reboot option. So if your advanced reboot option is enabled, you can directly reboot your device into TWRP recovery with your power button. So once you are in TWRP recovery, first of all, I recommend you to create a backup of your stock kernel. So you need to go to backup, then you need to select only boot option here. So if any other option is selected, just unselect it and just select boot option here. And if you want, you can rename your boot uh, file so I'm just going to type it boot and then append by date name. So once you have renamed it, you just need to swipe this button to create a backup file for your boot image. Later in this video, I'm going to show you how you can 
flash this boot image to come back to stock kernel so watch this video till end so once this backup file is created you can also copy this backup file to your pc or your google cloud or something wherever you want so now backup file is created now we're gonna flash the blue spark kernel now before proceed just let me show you where this backup file is created this backup file is created in your twrp folder so if you want you can just copy this file in your pc or somewhere else so just make sure you have the backup file so now let's install the custom kernel so you need to go to install then find your blue spark kernel zip file just select that file and now just swipe this button left to right to install the your custom kernel file so once it installed just simply click on reboot system and your device will be rebooted the first reboot of your device after installing the kernel may take up to five minutes so wait until your device is restarted successfully now let me show you here the magic is all still installed in our device and everything is also working we are also rooted here now after installing this custom kernel if you want you can run the benchmark test again to see the changes in your device uh, well you can skip the benchmark test part because i have the benchmark result after installing this rom and i'm going to show you the benchmark result at the end of this video now let's install the stock kernel again so you need to again boot to twrp recovery now this time if you want to go back to stock kernel you need to click on restore and here you'll you'll find the boot uh, image so you just need to select this file and just swipe this button left to right and your stock boot image will flash again and you will be back in your stock kernel so guys that's it this is simply how you can uh, go back to stock kernel so now just click on the reboot system and once your device is rebooted now you are on stock kernel you can check the magic magic is still working magic is still there and everything is working in your device now i know you probably have some questions like whether you're gonna receive the ota or not uh you may receive the ota but when you install the ota your uh, custom kernel may be wiped from your device while installing the stock rom and in case if your custom kernel is uh, wiped then you can again install the custom kernel well uh, i'm not sure about this thing for now if i found something i'll let you know in the comment section or the description of this video so make sure to check out that now let's talk about the benchmark now here you can pause the video and you can see the benchmark result before and after now here you can see there the after installing this custom kernel the there, are, there is drastic change in our performance of our device so i recommend you to just flash this uh, custom kernel in your device if you want the performance so guys that's it for this video if you like the video don't forget to do subscribe and don't forget to check out my other oneplus videos this is the best sign out meet you soon in next video